So anyway, so I'm going to start recording here for at-home students. All right, so there is the Google Classroom code. And if you're at home and looking at it, then you already know because you're there. So taking a look at Google Classroom. So assignments listed here. Uh, new assignment posted migration map. What you are going to see from here on out is I'm going to put OL on there if it's just for the online learners. Does everybody understand? So, because there was some confusion that you guys had to do it online and do it in the classroom. No, you're in the classroom. So, if I tell you in the classroom, hey, turn this in online, you're gold. Otherwise, 95% of everything you do in the classroom will be turned in in the classroom. But the online learners, they're not in here, so they'll be turning it online. But let's take a look at this assignment here. So yours looks more like this. So here you had the map that you were using, and I put that on there. And I thought I changed that. I guess I didn't. And a resource map. So the resource map you punched up, this is just for you to use for your resource. So I'm going to have this here so I can see that. And the map you have, now this is more for at home, but this is also you. If you're here, uh, uh, uh. okay, you have this map. Now watch carefully because this is what I'm going to show you. Most of you probably already know this. If it is a PDF and it's something that you have to turn in online and you don't have a printer, you come up here to open with and you click Cami. You open with Cami. Now, mine's going to be a little bit different than students. You should all have this on your computers already. I'm waiting for it. Uh, yeah. And so now I have this map open with Cami. Now it's a little bit harder for me to see, but I'm going to start right here because that's where all the action is, is right here. Now, you had to have routes for human beings across the planet Earth, and you had to note the significance of each thing. So what I'm going to do over here is I'm going to take this information, I'm going to transfer it to this map. The big difference on the two maps is this is South America, not Africa. Here's South America on this side of the map. So when stuff gets right here, you're literally going off the side of the map and it magically pops up over here. That's what you have to do for your arrows. You should already know this. Now, using Cami, I can, let's see, drawing. I'm going to use red. I'm going to pick a little bit thicker of a line and I'm going to do, let's see, uh, the or origins of humans is right in this area, so I'm going to draw that right here. Here's the origins of humans. Now, I have to write this bit of information here. Here's the problem. That's going to be hard. Uh, let's see, can I move this map over? There we go. I have to write human origins 200,000, 250,000 years ago underneath here. So what I do instead of trying to draw that is I use the text tool. And I put it in there, human origins. And then it was uh, 200,000 to 250,000 years ago. Now, the way I set these up, actually, I have to, for those of you who are at home, I may have to redo the map. You may have to save a copy of this when you turn this in. But the way I'll have this set up at home is it will automatically save for you. There is a save button for you to click save. So you can do that online. If you are doing notes online, take a copy of those notes in Cami and use that text option to write the answers right on the lines. Uh, also, if you're at home, and I'll talk about this again tomorrow, you have to do talk to text and the FBI. So, I should have migration map by tonight. 
and I should also have the cover page already turned in at home. All right, so that's it for at home. Uh, we'll see you guys tomorrow.